This is my TIG Welder Z-Style Heavy Duty Articulated Supporter. I have it bolted temporarily to a 15 inch diameter 3 inch steel plate using 4 bolts to a steel flange. Uh, it can be bolted to a floor, to anything, and it can be leveled by putting washers underneath the bolt, mounting bolts. And as you can see, I can put my arm in it, and I can move for a very large area. I can't show you the whole thing, but I know I can get more than 30 inches by 15 inches and maintain uh, a 3 16 distance from the, the tip of my tungsten down to my work. Now this table is uh, <clears throat> very, very wavy. It's not my usual metal table, so I'm doing the best I can just to show you how it works. And I can also, I can raise and lower about as far as I can go without getting out of the video. But I could use a, a, a one inch steel pipe mast, which I have here. This is only 18 inches high. I could use one that goes from the floor up to the ceiling. Since I'm working on a, a wavy wooden table, and I don't have access to my machine shop today, this is the only place I got that I can photograph. I have this plumb of the world, and I have a, a level here. You can't see it, but I put the level on it. It's plumb. I put it on there and get that plumb. And now I can work on anything, and it makes everything easy. I can follow along on this side. I just hold the cup against this little piece of channel I use. This could be any height, and it doesn't matter. I can raise this up. That's the best I can do with my camera. Now, if this was higher, if it was something else higher, let's say I was making an aluminum box or something, I can follow anything. Whether I'm using filler rod or not. Without filler rod, it makes it unbelievably sweet. This is a little trick I use to make long, straight beads. I simply go along a, a aluminum guide that I have, that I made. You can see I'm keeping 3 sixteenths or less all the way along, and I can run as far as I want, as long as I don't run out of filler rod with this hand. I can't run the camera and do that too. You know, I can also go on this side, it doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever feels good to the person that's doing the welding. This side here I can get really accurate. But anyways, I can go, uh, I think I think I got about 24 inches here. Okay, and you can see I'm keeping about a sixteenth of an inch. And it's very easy. I have this, <laughs> I'm jerking because I'm pointing around. Anyways, I have these set, so it's very loose. Very loose, very, very articulate. So that's just another trick.